Hello, it's Polish Paul VR. Welcome back to the channel. In today's videos, we're gonna talk about Sony's secret VR slash PSVR plans. What 2025 patents might be telling us. So Sony been pretty quiet about VR lately, but if you dig into recent patents, there is some very interesting clues and movements that might just hint at what they cooking up next. Hopefully, now. Disclaimer, those are just patents, they don't guarantee new hardware, but when you line them up, they start to paint a picture. So let's break them down in a play English, as plain as little me Polish Paul VR can speak it, and see what they might mean for the next generation of PSVR. Before I start, if you like what you're seeing, then please press a like and subscribe to the channel, comment on this video, by doing this, you supported supporting me greatly and also helping me stay relevant in this YouTube space and helping me grow this channel bigger for more PSVR 2 content you might enjoy. So make sure you do so, make sure you subscribed if you're not subscribed, and now let's go. First patent we're gonna start from is the one that was grant, granted on 30th of September this year. And this is basically thinner optics for lighter headsets using Fresnel lens unit, something that I will elaborate more maybe in the next video, because this patent by itself is quite big and vast and needs probably a bit more talking about than I just do now, but basically. Long story, cut short, it describes a Fresnel based lens unit. That's a way to keep lenses thin and light while still focusing the image and bringing production cost down compared to expensive pancake lenses. Lighter lenses can help make the headsets smaller and more comfortable. And they can free up room for other parts that can push image quality or field of view. Not saying that this is not a proof of wider field of view by itself, but it's the kind of optics building blood you would expect if Sony wants a lighter, more compact PlayStation VR that still looks sharp and addresses two of its biggest criticisms at the launch, which was PSVR 2 launch price and outdated lenses with small sweet spot. So by, uh, let's say, making the production different, something what I'm gonna speak more uh, in the next video, because it's a lot of explaining, but basically they, they, they make the lenses that are cheap to make, still cheap to make, <laughs> but smaller and way better. Anyway, moving on, now let's talk about the patent that was granted this month on 7th of October and what it does is clearer mixed reality pass-through and capture, so basically your better augmented reality moments. So this covers an image setup that can blend multiple camera views and even using infrared camera to produce cleaner, more usable images. So in uh, virtual reality headset terms, this can support crispier pass-through, so what you see through your headset, and clearer mixed reality composition. So it might mean a future PSVR 2 could show you real room more clearly, uh, as of now it's black and white and grainy, but it does its job, but also making mixed reality games and recording look better. Saying that, Sony is working on pricey enterprise VR headsets as well, and this tech might be safe for them ones, as it sounds expensive. But anyway, same goes for the next one, so we're gonna stick, stick with mixed reality, and let's talk about smarter placement of virtual objects in your space for mixed reality scenes and tools. And this patent was granted on 30th of September this year. And this uses machine learning to place virtual items where they make sense in the scene. Think like your props, UI or AR elements that appear at the right size in the right spots. If hypothetical, new PlayStation VR leans more into mixed reality, this helps stuff line up naturally, so it feels less gimmicky and more useful. Next patent was granted on 6th of August last year, and basically it's turning regular games into headset played experience using the foveated enhancement patent, that's, that's what it is. So, basically, Sony filled a patent that described a way, way to make normal non-VR games 
and automatically make them feel more immersive when played through a VR headset. Here's how this is working. So basically the system tracks where your eyes are looking, which of course it's called dynamic foveated rendering as you see in many PSVR 2 games now and makes the area you focus in on look sharper and higher quality. Everything else in your visions of course gets slightly lower resolutions as that's saving power and improving performance. So speak, speaking si very simply, imagine playing your regular PS5 game like maybe God of War or Spider-Man in a cinematic giant screen mode inside your headset. It makes it smoother, clearer and easier on the eyes. Flat games don't need to be rendered twice like virtual reality games, meaning all that extra power can be used to make them look even better. If you like having a VR headset that boosts games that maybe uh, wasn't designed for VR, that could mean Sony is working on headset that uh, bridges flat and VR gaming. Perfect for players who want both experiences in one. Of course, PSVR 2 itself now could support this feature and it might be something we see in future system software update if Sony goes with it. They've got it patented, they might just use it. Time will tell. And now this patent, well, ne the next patent I'm gonna talk about was granted on 23rd of September this year, so yet again not that long ago. And what it is, is basically showing your full face even if you were in a headset and this is better for streaming and social. So this means headset covers half of your face, which of course isn't great for streamers or social VR. This patent uses AI to fill in the hidden parts of your face so people can see your whole face expressions and all of it while you are in VR. So it gives you more natural avatars, better VTubing slash streaming and friendlier social virtual reality on PlayStation maybe. It might relate to their enterprise headset of course or maybe future PSVR. Apart from this patent, Sony has plenty more applications for patents that are not granted yet, which when it comes to streaming and screen. <coughs> Sorry, and screen sharing for VR headset. So keep, I, keep your eyes peeled. They are doing something in this space. Anyway, now let's speak about another patent that was granted on 23rd September as well, this, this year. <laughs> and this is Comfort Tech to fight VR motion sickness. So VR can make, of course, some people feeling a bit sicky. This patent is about the system that watches for signs you are getting. Uh, uh, you know, the, it's kind of detects when you're feeling uncomfortable and then automatically calming things down, for example, by changing visuals, maybe adjusting sounds or giving people a gentle haptics so you don't feel sick. If Sony rolls this into future PSVR, expect longer sessions with less nausea. Basically, it's a headset that tries to make you not throw up. And that's a big deal because of course comfort is one of the biggest barriers that keeps people out of VR. So if Sony nails this, the next hypothetical PSVR could be the most comfortable headset they've ever made. So what does this all mean? Uh, when you connect the dots, here is what 2025 and one 2024 patent, late 2024, seem to suggest. A headset that can run both VR and non-VR games smoothly using foveated rendering, better device, de device integration linking up with PlayStation gadgets without extra hardware, and most importantly more comfortable and less motion sickness, plus of course lower costs. All of this points to Sony experimenting with ways to make VR more accessible, flexible and social, not just as a gaming accessory but a natural, natural extension of their PS ecosystem. What we know is that Sony is making and will make more VR headsets. Will there be gaming focused or enterprise? I don't know. But those, this confirms a new 
but <laughs> does this confirm new PSVR headset? And of course, it's not confirming a brand new headset yet. As I said earlier on in this claim, patents are more like blueprints of ideas. They might become real or they might stay in testing forever. But what all those filings coming in 2025, but with all those filings coming in 2025, it is clear that Sony hasn't stopped thinking about virtual reality. They refining it, experimenting and possibly preparing for what could be the next big steps for PlayStation VR or they for their next generations of VR headsets, they might be aiming for Enterprise VR. What am I hoping for? Honestly, I am hoping for both. I want Sony to be still in gaming VR scene, but also make their VR footprints bigger in other places. So, what do you think? Will we see a new PSVR headset in next year or two? Let me know in the comment section be below. Let's start the conversation. What I'm thinking from it all is, well, I struggle with reading scripts, <laughs> that for starters, but also I think there is something happening and I'm hoping it's for VR gaming scene first. If you like what you're seeing, then please press a like, subscribe to the channel. You're helping me a lot by doing so. And for now, that's it. Bye 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 bye.